So I can sum it up for most of this NFL regular season. We had some surprises, upsets, and stupid shit to always, you know, mask the actual excitement that's supposed to be happening on primetime television. So, unless it's a particular, not controversial that much a regular season than it was the 2016-17 regular season of NFL football. Anyway, I want to just sum up some of the other teams instead of uh, the playoff teams because Wild Card Weekend's about to start off. So two games are going to start off on Saturday, the remaining two games for the AFC and NFC Wild Card. We'll sum it up, then we'll have our divisional round, then we're going to have our build-up to the Super Bowl. Yada, yada, yada. Of course, you're going to know I'm going to set a video on that. So I, I just want to talk about how in the fuck... The Jacksonville Jaguars came from upsetting a incredibly talented Pittsburgh Steelers team, upsetting the Titans, just de demolishing with an aggressively physical, young, fast defense, with with the offense speaking for themselves. You know, a young, fast team and reliable players that know their stuff, like Blake Bortles, Leonard Fournette. That was a reliable runner up the gut. It's incredibly versatile. Some. Good speeds to receivers, even though they lost to Allen Robinson the time they made the postseason. And, you know, upsetting the Pittsburgh Steelers twice, one in the regular season back. Uh, some Pittsburgh Steelers fans can tell you how Ben Roethlisberger got those, like, six picks. And that time they upset them in the uh, divisional round. They faced off against the Patriots. They faced off against the Patriots. Jacksonville Jaguars, I have made the postseason in a decade. Got to face off against the Patriots in an NFC Championship where they had a actual chance of winning. Now they're the lowest scoring team in the NFL in the 2018 season, only being the 31st and averaging only a 15 points a game. One of the one of the most recent games against the Colts, they even scored six points. They didn't even score shit. They only had 27 points. I mean, 20, uh, they're 27th ranked in yardage, 26th ranked in pass yardage, and 19th ranked in running yardage. I understand a lot of injuries have plagued it with a lot of other crap involving some certain players not affiliated, not interested in the organization. Uh, injuries plagued the Jacksonville Jaguars team, Blake Bortles, Leonard Fournette was out for a few weeks. Of course, some of their young defenses have been out and assigned to other teams. So, uh, we understand Jacksonville had some high expectations to trace after making the AFC Championship game. A lot of teams were. I mean, like the Arizona Cardinals back in 2015 was. I'm not trying to call this team terrible. I understand what stuff can do to you after one good year. Look at the Baltimore Ravens. They came from winning the Super Bowl to barely making it the other year. And just going below 500 and missing the wild card until now. I have a rookie quarterback now that's leading the team. We have the Arizona Cardinals that came from an a NFC Championship ticket. They're getting upset against the Carolina Panthers and back in 2015. And barely making the N any sorts of the second place in the NFC West. While they've fallen victim to still the 49ers, Rams, and Seahawks consistently. And now we got the Jacksonville Jaguars that in my fair shade, how much they wanted to change their image and how much they tried so hard to stay as a consistent figure have been in this motive that each time we change our ideology, our, our image, our interest to what we want because they don't know this year. they Last year they were a defensive team. Strictly they wanted to focus on their defense. This year, I don't think they <laughs> It was mainly Jalen Ramsey, and we had a bunch of injuries. I don't know how many shakeups they did to the offensive line. I think it was more. It was almost as much as the rotations the Raiders, uh, the Cardinals did on starting offensive line because everybody was injured. They couldn't block for shit. Blake Bortles was completely terrified. I'm shocked that he kept the consistent note of and scored and like had 2,000 yards still this season. Right now. I'm shocked that he still stayed in the pocket as he can, even though, uh, you know, 31st ranked scoring team in the NFL that speaks for themselves. If you have a weird offensive line that can't hold even a little kid, 
up in the pocket for as long as they can for their lives. It's rough, really, because as much as I was disappointed in how they came from leading the, the AFC South, actually looking like they could become a Super Bowl threat and dethrone the Patriots, they couldn't even beat the Titans, couldn't beat anybody. It's rough. I get it. I get what a team could do to you, how they're terrible, and even third down conversions, how you're 93 of 230. You're 93 of 230. Terrible even in first down conversions. Shockingly, if you can get a four, fourth down. Dear God, guys, what, what was I suspecting off this? I know last year they were notable for their defense, Jalen Allen, A.J. Boy. Uh, AJ Boye, Calais Campbell. So that was supposed to be uh, their thing, their defense. Didn't show up much. They got some picks. They're still one of the faster defenses in the NFL, but what is that supposed to tell me if you have Day Day Westbrook, a running man that was supposed to be a slot receiver, being your lead r receiver this year? Yes, yeah, still. Yes, yeah, signed Eric Flowers. Patrick Omoya that didn't play most of the season, AJ Cannon, Josh Wells. How am I supposed to? Of course, there would be some problems in the offensive line for Blake Bortles to still remain consistent. His best performances were it's still against top teams. I'm not saying that Blake Bortles sucks, even though he's not the most reliable quarterback. If you were in looking for a second string or third string, Bortles can be your guy, just not as a starter. They even had Cody Kessler start in, like, one or two games. And Leonard Fournette? Guess who they got? Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde was also Cleveland Brown the time they got rid of him from the 49ers, and Carlos Hyde was a consistent 1,000-yard rusher. Oh, my God. Dude, this is rough, guys. I, I, don't, I don't like seeing this. How they came from having Allen Robinson, they were having a bit of success with TJ Yates. I think they also had Jamal Charles for a few weeks until they let they waived him. So obviously they were trying to do so much, but they, but they were trying to hang off the ball like they were fine. They were chucking darts at anybody they can stay. I thought they, they should get rid of their coach, like the Washington Wizards should get rid of their coach. Let's just trade everybody amongst the wall and see what can stick, just like the Wizards kept doing with picking up Sam Decker. Ron Baker. And you already lost John Wall. Back in the football note, this is a really disappointing season to come from. You know, going on the road and nearly upsetting Tom Brady, except for that game-winning drive when he kept giving it to Julian Edelman and Chris Hogan. The most BS comeback drive I've seen in my life when I was watching that AFC title game. I never suspected so much stuff to go wrong in so many ways. And Jacksonville, they had so many high hopes. The only people that showed up this for the entire 2018 year was Jalen Ramsey. And most of his picks had to be decided to be a replay. Luckily, they were. And they were incomplete passes, sadly, to say the least. So, even though it, uh, some of these players had some great years, it's mainly been the defense that can speak for themselves. Day Day Westbrook... And Jesus, they tried to do so much to change their rushing scheme, even though you need a good offensive line. As much as, like, you can bring up the Adrian Petersons, the, uh, the Maurice Jones-Drews, you need an offensive line if you're willing to have these other receivers or running backs have some success. As much as I don't mind Kalen Cole, Dante Moncrief, and Dede Westbrook, you think Bortles still needs to pass the ball? We had Eric Flowers and James Josh Wells. You guys had nobody to you know keep consistent. Nobody to pull. Watching Reds, uh, every Char uh, Jaguars game into the second half of the season made me cringe. It was rough, rough to say the least. And I'm not the type of guy to be like I support this team. I just want other teams to feel uh, to have a good year, look like they made an impact. Look at the Cleveland Browns. They came from becoming 0-16, even though it wasn't a winning season, they were in a playoff race. They were in a fucking playoff race. 
That was the this was the last time like until like 2007 where the Browns were actually a threat instead of a running joke in the NFL for nearly 20 years. Jack, the Cleveland Browns feel like now confident that they can beat the uh, the Jaguars. That they could. And just seeing this right now, just instead of like picking up some more reliable receivers, Bryant was in the market. They they could just you know sign seven running backs, old ass, really old offensive linemen that are inconsistent. And, Day Day Westbrook, they just hit third round or fourth fourth down touchdown catches. There was a lot of BS touchdown catches. And, and, and even though there was highlights, like Kellen Cole got some one-handed grabs, if you remember those big highlights over the years, that you would. That somebody uploaded uh, 2018 regular season catches of the year. It, it's still not enough. You need good receivers if you're willing to do good. And I think if they get a reliable second-string quarterback, they pick up some good offensive linemen, some young ones. As much as uh, it pains me to see Eric Flowers, Amaya, and A.J. Can, and Josh Wells, it's not good enough. Their offense needs to improve, let alone their defense. I, I can tell you a lot about this. It just Picking up Ty, just Gerard Wilson that didn't do crap. As much as AJ Boye had an all right statistical year, look at the way they play, and you really think in the world that this could, you know. The Jaguars still, you know, they got the Colts that are now in the playoffs to six points. They got them six points. That ain't bad. 15 point games. They can do that, they can shorten the score. You guys still get burnt on first downs. Jalen Ramsey, DJ Hayden gets his ass burnt. AJ Boye still gets his ass burnt. Quentin Meeks, they shouldn't even be letting him on the field now. Telvin Smith is all right. Uh, Miles Mack had a great year. It's still not good enough. I hope uh, everybody just learns. Jag Jaguars team just learns, picks up the right guys. Just not the guys that are that were popular, that were popular. Just the right guys that can fit into their system. Fire the coach, do something. Because obviously, this was an underwhelming year for a, a fan base that really thought they were picking up steam after coming to the AFC Championship. And I hate seeing that go. There's a lot of teams that I thought that were going to get better. The Arizona Cardinals that I thought was going to get better. The New York Jets that I suspected to, you know, at least get a five-game record. Five wins in their record. The 49ers, after getting <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo, and, and then over the summer when I heard that they oversigned him a shit ton, or a fuck ton, other, other, other ways of just going with it, it was absolutely disappointing. And how we lost Kenny, how we just relied too much on uh, Richard Sherman, mediocre statistical year. We couldn't lock anybody up. Nobody in the 49ers team could lock anybody up. We couldn't. Luckily, we beat the Raiders and other weak ass teams. But goodness, this was just a rough year. I was suspecting the Jaguars. In my humble opinion, humble, <laughs> humble. In my opinion, I thought that they were at least going to get an eight and eight record and learn from it. But after the injuries that uh, came over, and just a lot of rough plays and how. You came up opening the season pretty all right. I think you guys started like 2-2. Two and two, And you guys started beating the uh, Giants. Even though Saquon Barkley still had a good running game. You guys uh, showed potential. And you guys still had that defense. But I saw nothing off that offense. So I hope everything gets improved. And the Jaguars learn off this mistake. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And sort of like my video. It's your choice.